Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Wallon Double End Bag. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Wallon Double Line Bag. This bag retails anywhere between $20 to $25. It's manufactured in China and utilizes a synthetic leather polyurethane outside casing with a permanent rubber bladder on the inside, which we'll discuss here in a little bit more detail here in a second. Dimensions wise, the bag is seven inches in diameter around the fat belly of the bag and about 12 inches in height from top to bottom. Um, there's two accessories that are included with this bag. You do get uh, two permanent bungee cords that are attached to the hoops at the top and the bottom with carabiners. So it's nice in the fact that they supply that and you don't have to go out there and buy your own set of bungee cords. I personally was not a fan of how they perform. So I ended up just cutting them off and I use my own bungee cord I've had for years now, this rubber one, and then I use my Pro Grip XRT, this is adjustable ratcheting system that I got from, uh, from Home Depot. You can pretty much get this online or at any local hardware store. They should carry these in the hardware department. And you also do get a plastic pump as well that is included so you can inflate the double end bag. And this is very useful. I have like 10 of these laying around the house, but you can use this obviously to inflate anything else, uh, your, your speed bag as well, or uh, if you have any soccer balls or basketballs, you can inflate those as well. So um, the reason I decided to do a review on this particular brand and products is Wolong is a Chinese brand and they, um, to me, kind of specialize in more of the entry to mid-tier level uh, products when it comes to boxing equipment. So gloves, double end bags, heavy bags and whatnot. Uh, but I get a lot of requests from uh, viewers that are overseas, specifically in Asia or Southeast Asia. So a lot of, uh, of people that are in the Philippines, uh, Thailand and just kind of that area, Indonesia, I get a lot of comments, messages and requests uh, to do a review on uh, not just this wall on double end bag, but just wall on products in general. So I figured to, to, to give this double end bag a try and I was extremely surprised on how well this bag performs, especially for how much it costs, at, you know, say round down to $20. Uh, this is probably one of the best performing um, double end bags I've used. Um, and, and I'm not exaggerating that, I, I really mean it. I think the, the biggest difference between this and like the, the ringside one uh, is the weight of this bag is, is a little bit heavier. And I think it's because of the, the rubber material they use in here for the actual outside casing, as well as that rubber bladder on the inside combined with the shape. So you'll notice that the shape of this bag is more like an onion. It's not like a standard just round sphere and it's not like a teardrop shape like the Kletal Reyes bag I did a review on. This one has a little bit more of an onion shape. So it starts off a little bit narrow at the top and at the bottom, and then it just flares out and papers out to be uh, more open. And I think because of the shape, um, you, you have a little bit more of a concentration of weight to the middle of this bag. Um, and then the little added weight with the rubber uh, bladder on the inside, as well as just the outside material, when you hit this, it gets you get a little bit more of a satisfying feel of landing a punch compared to the ringside or even the Cleto Reyes bag. And don't, don't get me wrong, those are amazing bags as well. I just feel like this has a little bit of a heavier, uh, a little bit of a heavier punch and feel when you're landing your punches on this bag compared to the others. So you feel like you almost have to punch a little bit harder to get this bag to rebound as quickly as a lighter uh, bag. Um, you'll notice that the actual quality on the bag is decent. It does have the synthetic casing that has a texturized leather-like look to it. Um, the stitching is actually surprisingly held up pretty well. Um, it is made in China. Um, the top and bottom loops um, have held up really well as well. Um, one thing I did notice is that depending on the gloves I use, I, I use some red gloves. I don't know which ones that, that did it because I didn't notice it right away, but you'll notice that some of the, 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 uh, the logo on here started getting some of the bleeding of the leather gloves onto this white logo. So I started noticing some red, uh, just something you notice from natural wear and tear from using it. But you do have that Wolong logo throughout the entire diameter of the bag. 
You'll also notice that it does have the inflation port right here on the front face of the bag. I've never been a fan of that just because that's where you're gonna be landing your punches. Sometimes you get bladders that are on the inside that the more you end up putting pressure or punching that port, the actual inside of the bladder ends up, ends up getting damaged and it leaks air after that happens. So I would have rather have seen the port a little bit up higher or lower just so that it's not right here on the strike surface uh, of the bag. You do have the tag right here that says that it's made in China. Uh, it says uh, prevents moisture, do not dry clean, do not iron. I think that's common sense. Why would you iron a double end bag or dry clean a double end bag? I have no clue, but apparently they've got to warn you not to do that. So overall, I mean, other than the exterior design, it's a pretty basic looking bag. Quality wise, it's held up really nicely. And to be honest with you, for $20, I wasn't really expecting much to begin with. Okay, now the big, big issue with this bag is that you'll notice there is no laces and there's no zipper. So there's no way to replace the bladder in this, or it's not designed to have a replaceable bladder. Technically you could if you unstitched all the stitching, but nobody's gonna do that. Um, and remove the bladder, and even then, I don't even know if you can buy the bladder separately from the bag itself. Um, and at the price point of $20, to be quite frank, I don't even know if it would be even worth it at that point to get a replacement bladder. So it's kind of a, a kind of a flip of a coin, right? You get this knowing that there's a permanent bladder, but honestly, this bladder is held up really well. Um, I think the bladder itself, material-wise, is a little bit thicker uh, than your standard um, double end bag bladder. Um, I have a spare here. This is actually uh, from my Cleto Reyes bag, and you can see the bladder here. Let me open this bag real quick. This is a standard latex uh, bladder with the in insertion port at the end. Um, and this is pretty much industry standard that you'll find. Uh, you fill it up and typically when the bag, uh, the bladder goes bad, it's usually around the seal right here that this goes back uh, bad and then the air kind of seeps out at the very end right there. And that's what I was talking about. It's a, to me, it's a bad design when you have that facing the punch surface. Because if you can imagine, you're gonna be punching this area and it can end up breaking the seal and that's all glued in but you combine heat moisture and the, the differential and temperature eventually that will start to break uh, but i believe that they use a rubber bladder on this bag so the bladder is going to be a little bit heavier and thicker grade um, and i think that's kind of the whole concept behind it being a permanent bladder so you don't have to switch it out because from a longevity standpoint it should uh, last longer so overall um, a really uniquely designed bag and the fact that you don't have a replaceable bladder, but you offset that with great performance. So in terms of the performance of this bag, when you're hitting it, there's no plastic patches, there's nothing on the front that can hurt your hand. If you decide to hit this double end bag with just your bare hands, you can do so and not have to worry but it has an excellent feel. I mean, it, it has a great feel and rebound to it. Um, I just feel like this is one of the better performing double end bags I've used. And obviously I've done a review on in all of the years I've used double end bags. Definitely underrated. Um, it would be nice if they did make perhaps a interchangeable bladder version. But again, at the price point of $20, I don't even know if that would even be uh, financially feasible. Cause I think if you buy a bladder, a bladder is typically anywhere between like 10 to $12 especially now with everything being inflated cost-wise. So, I mean, if you can keep this bag at around $20 and say you have this bag for maybe a year or two, then I definitely think it would be worth the investment. If you end up blowing the bladder on it, you know, a year to two years into it, I mean, that's only 20 bucks. So uh, cost-wise definitely makes it worth it for this double end bag, especially on how much I've enjoyed using it. The other thing I forget to mention is that because of that onion shape, you have a little bit more of a deeper angle that you can actually land uppercuts or even overhands. Uh, so that's another big added feature of the shape of the bag being onion shaped. So you have a little bit more 
of an underside to it. So you, if you're hitting it, you can land an uppercut. And it feels good. It feels like you're actually landing where you need to land. And same thing with an overhand right or an overhand left. You do have a little bit more of that surface area uh, to land punches on. But So with that being said, I think this bag is an amazing value for the money for what you're getting. Probably, to be honest with you, probably the best value double end bag I personally tried. Um, it's gonna be hard to beat at the price point of $20. Yes, you can't replace the bladder on it, but I mean, if this bag lasts you a year or two, 20 bucks, then it kind of paid for itself, especially if you put a lot of training in. And so far, for the time that I've had it, it's held up really well, other than some of the, the, the color off my gloves bleeding onto it. But other than that, it's, it's worked out really well. I'm happy with the performance. I'm happy with the accessories they include. Um, and overall, happy with my purchase with this roll on double end bag. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can get this roll on double end bag. I'll see you guys later. Take care.